Hello everybody, it's Amanda from ScrimpyMummy.co.uk. Welcome to Coffee and a Card. Um, coffee and my new Stampin' Up mug, kindly gifted to me from Stampin' Up at the event at the weekend, which I'll talk about on another video. Today we're going to use this set, which was gifted to us by our team leader at training event and it is the half full set and it's you know it's all wine related we all like a bit of a tipple um if we could do coffee and wine we would but you know we wouldn't be stamping straight <laughs> so i'm going to use this set today and i'm using some lovely colors and we're using rich razzleberry and so saffron and obviously whisper white i've cut the layers um, this has started life at 11 and a half inches by four and a quarter and then that one's gone down in an eighth of an inch and then that one's gone down a quarter of an inch from that one all the measurements will be over on my blog um, if you want to go and have a look and the link to that is always in the description box and we're going to do inside as well okay so first of all i'm going to start and layer up my card and I will do my so saffron layers. So let's get these on. Uh, oh, shut. Sure. Let's get these on. Get that lined up nicely. With a, it has a very small one eighth of an inch increment, so. You want to get it as straight as you can. I'm getting better at that. <laughs> and I've done the same on the inside as well. Um, it adds just more interest to your card. And also, obviously, the more layers you put on, the sturdier it's going to be. You don't want it uh, going all floppy on windowsill. <laughs> if you send it to somebody for the birthday or I mean this set here is awesome we've got some brilliant sentiments we've got Merry Christmas may your glass always be half full and um, the best wines are the ones with friends so they could be sent for birthdays or just as little thank you cards or note cards and um, lots of things you can use them for right so I'm going to do some stamping and first of all I'm going to just get my basic black and I'm going to just stamp a little wine glass for the inside of my card first of all like so and I'm just going to stamp it on the corner hopefully that's stamped nicely which it has and you get in the shading and you know it looks like the you can see a glow on the glass with the with the stamp it's lovely Right, so I'm just going to leave that to dry and then I'm going to do my main, my maiden card. Let's move everything out of the way so we can get it nice and straight. And again, I'm using the um, archival black. So first of all, I'm going to, and it's a super easy card, no fancy folding. Um, the stamps are doing all the work for us today um, and it's a nice, fun set so i'm going to try and go kind of central with this because i do want to put a border top and bottom if there's room we'll see i haven't done a sample for this i'm making it up as i go along <laughs> and hoping that it comes out nicely you can't always plan your cards i don't very rarely plan past five minutes um <laughs> but there we go so we're gonna have um wine glass there and I'm going to have another wine glass because this is about friends. This I'm using the uh, wine is better drunk with friends. So obviously I need two. Okay, that might not be perfectly straight, but I'm not too worried. We've got two wine glasses there sat on the table. And then I've got my sentiment here, which I'm literally just going to stamp straight onto the card. So I'm going to practice stamp to see if I've got my stamp straight on my block, which I have. Let me just practice stamp again. Just because it's a new stamp and I've not used it before, it's never been inked. So I'm just going to stamp straight onto the card, which is a bit of a risk, but you know, let's live dangerously. <laughs> if it's a mess, we'll turn over and do it again. There we go, that's stamped lovely. And the font on that is absolutely stunning. I love it. So I can put my black ink away now so that I don't make a mess with it and I'm just going to leave that to dry a minute because I'm going to colour it, colour it in 
and while that's drying I'm going to show you my new toy which is the ribbon border punch it's absolutely beautiful I love it so I'm going to just move these out of the way and I'm going to punch myself a border so what I'm doing is I'm starting uh, to start it about there I'm going to start it from there there's like a little notch put your card into the little near the little notch um, and start punching Ugh. there we go and then what you do then is you line up the pattern of there onto there so that you can you know follow along with the pattern so I'm going to do that uh, there okay so there and then it'll continue in a lovely lovely pattern so let's keep going I'm going to punch all the way down because I'm not quite sure how much of this I'm going to need uh, move it down a bit I haven't quite worked out how far you need to move it along just yet because it's a brand new punch to me um, there'll, be a, there'll be a certain way of doing it I haven't worked it out yet <laughs> but as long as you've got those lined up with the pattern you know even if you end up punching in the same place it won't matter okay there we go it's about there I reckon keep going uh, I'm going to go all the way down and then trim what I need because um, I could have cut it to size for the width of my card but oh right I've missed a bit let's, so let's go back to there and line it up and punch and that fills in the bit that I missed see and it's it's perfect all you've got to do is line your punched holes with the pattern on the side there it's very very easy to use okay right that should be enough now to do my border let's move all of these little bits get off monkey right and then I'm going to just quickly get my scissors and I'm going to snip it away from the card where it's not fully come away just there okay like so and then I'm going to assess how much I want and which way up I want it I think I want it that way I think that's really pretty okay but I want it even so I'm going to go for the centre of that one and the centre of that one so let me cut the middle of there as my guide yeah got bits everywhere now and I'll do the same at the bottom so if I've got that one that way up I might have the other one that way up oh that looks nice right so what have I got there I want the pattern I do want the patterns to match I'm a little bit fussy like that so if I cut that one in the middle there and then stick it to my card because it's the same as there then I'll trim them off so I'll just get my choice of glue I'm just going to put a, a blob on my mat on my grid paper like that and then just I would normally use a, a, fa a little fine brush have I got one to hand let me have a look yeah I'll we'll use this and just gently brush some glue on that pick a glue that dries clear you can use fine tip glue pen but I'm a bit heavy handed with glue and I tend to put too much on so, <laughs> so I struggle a little bit with the fine uh, tipped glue pen so I just make a mess right so that's stuck on there that looks really pretty let me just make sure it's right up against the edge which it is and I'll do the same at the bottom uh, yeah it's that way yeah, that way. Making sure I've got it the right way that I decided I wanted it. <laughs> Don't suppose it matters really. I love getting all messy. Get my little, uh, my little brush out and uh, getting a bit sticky and a bit inky. It's fun. Right, so that one wants to go up against that edge there. Okay. Give it a press. As you can see, I've gone a bit heavy handed there with glue, because I always do. But if I just wipe that away and then it will dry clear, you won't be able to see it. Nobody will ever know. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> they won't know. 
and then just trim that off so it's flush perfectly with the edge of my card and there's my pretty border move my glue out the way right so the colours I'm going to use are oh drop my blender pen Excuse me a moment, my blender pen rolls off my desk. <laughs> so I'm using Sir Saffron because it matches that cardstock, and I'm using Rich Rizzleberry because that matches the rest. And then you know you don't need loads of inks. So I'm going to first of all use the Sir Saffron, I think. Um I just need to squeeze it, don't I? What am I doing? Give it a squeeze. And Pick it up with your blender pen and then just colour your wine like so. Okay. Perfecto mundo. And then all you do is just colour on some scrap to get that ink off of there and you can start on with a new one. going to have rich rosalberry here uh, just see if I can just pick a little tiny bit of that so saffron to just colour that wine glass up stem just enough left on my mat there I can pick it back up just gives it a slight tint okay clean that off and I'm using rich rosalberry I need to squeeze it I forgot honestly one shank girl fish bowl and it's gone so pick it up on your blender pen and just start colouring. So easy. There's so many different ways you can hand colour um, with these products, with all stamping up products. You've got your blender pens, you've got your aqua painters, you've got many marvellous markers, we've got um, watercolour pencils. What else have we got? We've got all sorts, haven't we? Okay. And then I'm going to do my wine bottle. Colour that. I'm not the world's best colourer. Colourer in a. There we go. But the good thing about these is you can add more colour if you want. And it will blend nicely by the time you've done. Ta-da! Right, let's put some at the top. Okay. It's a new bottle that hasn't been opened yet. They've finished last lot off. They're nearly on floor. <laughs> this isn't the next bottle they're going to open. The best wines are the ones we drink with friends. Except for me, I can't drink wine. It makes me poor. I don't know what it is about wine it makes me ill and I can't drink it but I can still make a pretty card lots of my friends do drink wine there we go so that's that bit done and then I did have the genius idea but I don't know if it's going to work we'll see of adding some gold washi tape to the top there for my uh, bottle cap as it were you know you have foil round don't you get off you're not meant to be on there let's give it a bit more of a trim there we go there we go and then the bottom of them is sometimes has that like black wax on doesn't it so let's just use this let's give it a squeeze and we'll just colour that in black what's that there get off bit of washi tape so that's the waxy layer and that's the foil on the top of the of the cork. I've got some on my card, it's bugging me. Get off. There we go. <laughs> okay, so for the label, I think I may as well just use... I don't really know what colour 
wine bottle labels are, but I'm just going to use what I've got here. I'm going to pretend I don't have a billion inks. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I haven't got a lot. So I'm just going to colour that in very carefully and very lightly with my So Saffron. Um, to show you that you don't need loads and loads of colours to make a pretty card. And while I've got that very pale, I'll just add it a bit more to my glass, like so. Okay. Let's do the inside one. And um, we'll have that as white one. And then we'll start and we'll build our card up. And then I'll show you another trick that we did at team training with this stamp set. So let me get all the goo off. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm just using my tape runner at the moment. I'm going to stick that on. This has got a bit more of a increment so that you can see the lovely yellow cardstock behind it and that layers up really pretty. <laughs> I'll put my inside one, there's all bits everywhere, we don't know where they're coming from. Layer that on there like so. I think I need wine after making this card. <laughs> so that's me inside, that's me outside. So what the other final touch that you can do is you can use your fine tip glue pen to add a sheen to your wine glasses or to your wine. And what you do is you use it um, very carefully. Add a thin layer of that to your wine glass and you then leave it to dry it takes quite a while to dry but that will add you a glossy finish to that wine um, which adds texture and interest and it, it you know it looks like glass uh, and you can continue and do that on your bottle as well. Just make sure you put it to one side and you give it a good while to dry. Um, and then you will have a lovely glossy finish. I don't know if you can see it. But do give it a while to dry or it will smudge. But it's an amazing finish. And I do think that that ribbon border punch there is absolutely stunning. I'm in love with it. So there you go. That is the half full stamp set. Really, really cute. Quick and easy card. Hope you liked that. Uh, I might go and have a bottle of wine. Is it too early? I think it might be at 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye for now.